My name is Sophia Lori, and I'm with California Family Council. At first glance, SB 59 appears to be a positive bill. How can anyone be against providing menstrual products in women's restrooms? Yet, this bill also requires state-owned buildings to provide menstrual products in male restrooms, pushing the lie that men can have a menstrual cycle and erasing the truth of what a woman is. This bill disregards the inherent dignity of women by attempting to obscure obvious biological distinctions between males and females. Let's walk through basic biology. Only females have to endure monthly menstruation where the lining of the uterus sheds, causing blood to flow from their uterus through their cervix and out of their vagina. Does a man have a uterus? No. Does a man have a cervix? No. Does a man have a vagina? No. Thus, males do not have a menstrual cycle. Let me repeat that. Males do not and cannot have a menstrual cycle. Your bill makes a mockery of this reality. The author claims to be standing up for women, yet SB 59 erases women when it pretends our biology has nothing to do with our identity. This committee is made up of nine female members. Think of the hard fought battles women endured for the right to vote, to own property, to run for office, and to be treated legally as equal to men. We went from fighting for women's rights to now fighting for men's rights to feminine products. You are being asked to affirm the idea that anyone can be a woman. Is that the legacy you want to leave your daughters and granddaughters? If you really want to be pro-women, ask that this bill be amended to remove the requirement that men's bathrooms need feminine products too. With respect to um, some of the anti-LGBTQ hate groups who testified today, and that's what they are, let's just be clear, this whole notion that somehow it's pro-women to be anti-trans is absurd, and I want to thank the author uh, and all of the supporters and sponsors uh, for acknowledging that. Happy to move the bill.